Morning, everyone. Hope you're keeping well. I'm um, shouting a little bit because the sea's quite um, sea's quite noisy. I've come down to beautiful Haysborough. Woke up this morning to a bit of a great Yarmouth winter wonderland. That sounds like a bit of a contradiction in terms. But yeah, it was very white in Yarmouth. But um, driving out three or four miles, and it all seemed to disappear. A little sprinkling here and there, but nothing crazy. So that was probably winter this year in Norfolk. So I thought, get to the coast. We've got some lovely moody clouds. The sky is fantastic. Probably got some winter showers coming in. And look at the light. Look at the light. Why the hell am I talking to you? I should be taking pictures. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. Going to get back to you in a little while with them. Um, well, firstly, I'll show you some of the pictures I um, took when I first got here. And then I'll go and have a look, look around on the coast here, see what else there is to see. Plenty to do, plenty to do. Beautiful sea. Oh, look at all that lovely light on my gorgeous little face. And it's beautiful, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get back to you in a little while, okay? Can't miss this light. All right, cheers, bye. Well, the light's gone in for, or the sun has gone in for a little while. The light's gone in. The sun has gone in for a little while. So I thought I'd just have a quick chat with you. Yeah, got here a little bit later than I wanted um, because basically I'd gone out to see what the conditions were like, whether we did have any wintry conditions in the broads. So um, it was disappointing when I got out there and obviously nothing there. So I thought, well, I might as well get to the coast because, you know, the sky looks fantastic. So that's what I've done. But there were some beautiful pinkish, you know, um, twilighty colors, oh, never mind. You gotta let it go, you gotta accept it. But I still got some great light on Haysborough Lighthouse. Bing, 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 bing. And, um, oh, and a little bit coming through again. So what I'm doing at the moment is, I've just got the, um, got the 135 on, no surprise there really. And um, just shooting towards the lighthouse and using this beautiful field, this beautiful undulating sort of well, I don't know what was in, I actually don't know what was in the field this, this year, I can't remember, but the colours and the tones in that field itself are, are worth it for just that beautiful light that goes on it. So make a nice shot, and we all know that Haysborough is a wonderful subject. I'm sure you've seen it in many vlogs before. It's becoming quite a, quite a popular vlog place now, and understandably, because it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to see if there's any more light here. I've got a few, so, you know, probably only take maybe one or two more, and then might get myself down on the, um, down on the beach. I haven't got a decent shot, actually, of the tide bell at Haysbury yet, so I might even try that today. But it'll just be great being out with the waves and the sea and the clouds, my kind of thing, getting back into my coastal photography. So um, maybe put up another couple of um, the old lighthouse here, and then I think it's time to move down onto the beach and see what, um, see what I can do there. All right? This place never ceases to amaze me. Every visit is completely different. Now, behind me, that's old. That's old um, erosion from, oh, I don't know now, over a year, I'd imagine, sort of like a mini canyon. But um, any of you photographers who go to Haysborough a lot will notice in the background there, the little pillbox. The pillbox will now, now is about four or five feet from the edge. And there's a little indentation or a little in, um, in road there into the cliffs there. So that won't be long before that's on the beach. I um, just spoke to a local lady and she said that the main car park is um, in trouble, that they may have to close that. And um, they've lost so much over the last couple of weeks. The seas have been so high. It's quite scary, really, quite scary. It makes it a fascinating place to visit, but don't get me wrong. There are people in houses that are not too far now from the edge of the cliff and that's that must be absolutely bloody awful for them. Um, I remember obviously visits here from many years ago where the 
you know, the initial houses that I saw um, demolished all, you know, all went. The, the lifeboat slip went, you know, the old steps at, that, at the uh, north end of the beach. Crazy. So much happened here over the, you know, such a short space of time. And um, obviously there's going to be a lot more happen within the next few years. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is trundle through our little mini canyon there and see if I can just shoot the tide bell. Um, the sea's coming in, so I've got a little while before I've got to get back out again onto the cliff tops. Beautiful clouds. Looks like there's a big storm coming in from there. So yeah, better get down there and see if I can get something before it's um, before it's too late. All right. Oh, well, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this moody sky coming in. There's the old tide bell behind there. What a beautiful, beautiful sky. Amazing conditions. Oh, happy bunny, happy bunny. And not particularly cold now. It was colder, colder earlier on. Much nicer down on the beach. So I'm just taking some long exposure stuff from here, using the 135 at the moment. Um, they're about um, seven or eight seconds long, lovely, with those wonderful moody clouds behind. Very nice. Don't think I'm gonna get any light on the tide bell now, so it's gonna be, they've been quite moody ones, but hey, it's just down the road, so I can always come back. And then I think I'll be switching lens to the um, 2470 and try and just do some basic seascape stuff, which I think will look very nice with this wonderful, wonderful moody clouds and sky and oh, it's just gorgeous. This is what I love. This is what I love. Seascape photography, coastal photography. Happy, happy jump. Oh, look at those clouds go. Oh, lovely. Anyway, look, that's, you know, that's enough about that. Usual long exposure stuff. I've got the six stopper on. Yeah. Great, happy. God damn it, that six stopper was difficult to clean though. Should have cleaned that before I came out. Anyway, never mind. It's been cleaned and um, hopefully some nice long exposure stuff to put up for you in a minute. It's a great subject. Simple but very, very effective for long exposures. Anyway, I'll put some stuff up of the tide bell and maybe some of this moody cloudage in a minute. Okay. So yeah, it's, um, it's gone a little bit moody. The old, um, the old weather's come in. It's, um, it's not rain, which is nice. It's just sort of a very light sort of sleety, haily thing. So it's actually quite nice. You're not getting soaked, you're just sort of bouncing off you. So it's rather nice. Might just be a case of just finding a little bit of shelter and just wait it out for a little while. Hopefully the light the other side of the um, of this um, weather front will be nice, we'll see. But um, for now, gear's all in the bag. We've got a very, very wet um, <laughs> camera lens there. And um, yeah, just um, get back out to it in a minute. Yeah, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, well, I hope this is not too noisy for you guys with the sea breaking. Absolutely beautiful. Um, took a few long exposures, as I may have mentioned earlier with the 135, very nice. Took a few with the um, 2470 and hadn't put the exposure delay mode on. So I was pressing the button and it was taking the picture. And there's me going, why isn't the tide bell sharp? So a few little um, oops, little rookie errors there, but um, managed to get some new ones with the 2470 with the um, with the tide bell long exposure. Not easy though, because the because the wind just comes straight at us, so it is making it a little bit difficult. I'm not making excuses for myself. Um, anyway, I think they're okay. Very, very nice. Um, as you can probably see behind me, the wonderful thing about the Haysburn, the cliffs, even though, bless their hearts, they're all falling into the sea, they take some absolutely gorgeous light, and against that amazing stormy sky, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, what an amazing morning. What an amazing morning. So I think I'm gonna have a little trundle up the beach now um, and just see what else I can see. I might be able to shoot the groins, though the tide is coming in. So I, I might have to find myself back up the top of the cliffs, shooting down onto the beach, but actually that's not so bad. And that'll be a bit of a change. 
So I think it's time to move on from the tide bell and I'll come back and see you another time. Lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, get back to in a little while. So just before I go back up to the um, top of the cliffs, I'm gonna just take a few little sand abstracts down here. Hold on, let's grab that camera properly. Some lovely colors down there, lovely shapes. Yeah, can't resist an abstract or two. So let's, let's put a couple up now. I think they'd be quite nice. Very subtle, let's put them up. Okay, and then to the top of the cliffs. Let's see what's up there for me. I'm okay. Oh, that'll do, guys. That'll do. Lovely morning. Lovely morning. A couple of sand, sand abstracts, and um, I might take some stuff with the waves from the cliffs up here. Not sure, it doesn't really matter. It's been a great morning. Loved it, loved it. And Clever John has bought a flask and has a couple of bickies as well. So he's ever so clever and bought those with him. He's um, over his, um, <laughs> he's well over his car park payment, but hopefully the Norfolk Council won't tell me off and put me a little ticket. Anyway, whatever. So guys, look, I'd like to say thanks ever so much for watching. Um, look after yourselves. Take care, hope to see you soon. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Could do with a few more joining me on my, um, on my daft adventures in Norfolk, especially now that I'll be putting out more videos. Yeah, enjoy this one. Hope you enjoy the images. Look after yourselves, take care. All right, see you later. Bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.